Let's go out to all the PJs around the world. Eat a wall. Nah, we got Sound back, 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 back. Niggas and guns. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Choke, no joke. It's all the projects in the world. When they bite that chicken, this is when the players get knocked, cause it's hot out. The sexy show out, glowing with the back glass on the mouth. She see you with the next chick, then she dumb out. Hustlers dumb out, just for nothing. Bustin' for attention, just dumbin'. Cause we know y'all ain't bustin' nothing. Life's a box of chocolates, you're riding a pipe, playing the bench, kids on the fence, watch your popo, chase Prince, don't dismiss your brethren, for dumb shit, keep it gangster, no shit where you live, 12 one right up in your crib, you never been nowhere, where else could you live, that's gangster boo coming through, throwing it up, fucking his muffler up, scraping the concrete with Willie so sweet, he got his scores by the chief. And the palms that deal is and fiends Late night roam the streets Weed is weaker, but it's cheaper Not many chicks frying like divas Out west, every chick's a model like Eva And you know I'm far from believing her So I'm g her like she g me Banging in L.A. is a different thing At the end, you either dead on the bang Getting out, doing better things On sunset, where they hang Hollywood, where they hustle for change. Times Square here, it's the same. No matter where you go, you find the lane. On the west, they kick it with cane. On the east, trees the souls you think. East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your raps, roll it up. If you rap, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast, East Coast. West Coast, grab your glasses, take a toast, if you rep East Coast. When I'm on the West and I'm doing my thing, no offer me coke, or your nose I bang. Friends don't offer other deadly things, thanks for the hospitality, we'll still hang. I won't judge you, leave me as I came, on the road to success, top of the game. Eat all the finer things in the food chain, teach my kids to do the same, whether eat Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your raps, roll it up. If you rap, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your glasses, take a toast. If you rap, East Coast. You gotta love life, they offer wonderful things. Being the travel is a privileged thing. Came back to the East, air wasn't fresh. Streets filled with trash, various people in the ass. It's easy to tell who's up a middle class. Police and racism, same as crash. Back to where they not social, where they less vocal. When they don't know you, be careful, show you around the East Coast, West Coast, East Coast, West Coast. Grab your raps, roll it up. If you rap, East Coast. 
coast, where the east coast, west coast, east coast, west coast, pop your bottles and toss the cork, if you rep west coast, most coast are known to give you fame, got paparazzi's playing cameras your way, got you bobbing and weaving like cash is clay, most thugs turn Muslim in older days, change their name to a law they pray, probably till they decay, this go out to the east and west for big and pop, y'all. Let's connect. Rather east coast, west coast, east coast, west coast. Grab your wraps, roll it up. If you rep west coast, rather east coast, west coast, east coast, west coast. You can't get the west without the es. So it's manifested that we connect. Uh. You know what it is. Choke, no joke. Learn from mistakes, baby. You know what it is. Greg on the track. Rest in peace, baby. Eat a wall, we in now. You know what it is. Choke, no joke. Smile, treat me, you know. Choke, no joke, chicky choke, no joke, choke, no joke, chicky choke, no joke. You know what it is. We here now. We in the building. We in the building. We in the building. We in the building. Choke, no joke, chicky choke, no joke. Choke, no joke, chicken, choke, no joke. My man Dipset forever first in the building. He got a point to prove. You know what I mean? Shout out to my girl, Michelle Jensen. Okay. Miss Jensen, if you're nasty. My man AC in the building. You already know. Mrs. A. Matthews, Joel King, Michelle Frizzy. Mike Miggity, walk on wood, walk on wood. Kenyatta Carter in here, Aries 80s, baby. You know what I mean? Delilah Boyd, I see you. Need to be in the building. Al Swan is back with the, uh, what you call it? The Soul Eclipse flicks. Some people did see it. I had a, a friend send me a picture. I will show y'all. And they was here in goddamn Atlanta. He said you needed the glasses to see it. Oh, they said they put the, the, the glasses over their camera. See if y'all can see that. I oh, maybe I have to do it sideways. Well, I missed it. I didn't have the glasses. Oh, let me turn on my Instagram. Before we get into this. Crystal Hope in the building. Who else in here? Shard, what up, Shard? Ran through it all. 
hit me up on the email uh for the feature choke don't joke in gmail i'm popping in the building res lyricist in the building taiwan gang in the building cj in the building ed in the building mix wells in the building we got the original choke no jokester jason bauer in the building they coming in they coming in jasmine skipper in here team legal dutch in here al swan just joined the original choke no jokesters all right thank you for joining the team my guy my guy all right With Sean Green in the chat. Escobar gang, what up? <laughs> All right, Al, you told me it wasn't no joke. You was right. He sent me some pictures too. Wait, let me see. Let me show uh, the pictures that Al had. Because he did keep his word. Damn, I can't find it now. Oh, here you go. But he wasn't capping, y'all. He wasn't capping. I guess you needed the glasses because we damn sure was waiting and watching and it went right past the time. But I told you, I did look like it got like weird looking and they said, let me see what time they said it was when they did that. Three oh four, and we was out there at three oh four. That might have been that little one second when I was like, "Yo, it's, it looked kind of weird out here." Oh well, next time I know to get the glasses. The way they make you feel is like it's just gonna block the whole sun, and everything just gonna get dark for a minute. The way they talk about it. Choke no joke live on YouTube. Come get with me. Hit that link. Let's go. Hi, right, let's get it.
All right. So we have some more people that stepped in the building. Only 16 states got full effect. Oh, okay. You needed the glasses. Yeah, that's what I was told. Because my friend that posted on Instagram, what they did was took, took the glasses and put it in front of a camera. And then that's how they was able to film it for their Instagram. I think it's like, what, 2033 is the next one. I was outside splicing fiber optic cables in Poway, California. It was I. Right. You know what, y'all? Let's let's uh let's look for some of the soul eclipse that people captured before we get into this. Let's see. You got it here. some images in right now. This is from Luis Roman over in Odessa, Texas. It says it is here by Odessa, Texas. And you can see that partial eclipse that is happening. We definitely want to get all of your photos, your videos here. So to send them to us, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is hold your phone up to that QR code that's right there at the top right hand side of your screen. And you can easily submit those photos and videos. Just let us know your name and where you are located. Again, we're going to be showing these all throughout our coverage here over the next several hours. I do want to pop up some of the other images that we do have coming in via NASA right now. This is actually over on the Pacific coast of Mexico. You can see that partial eclipse is officially underway and it's just going to be a matter of minutes, let's say, a few minutes until we do see uh, the moon pass over the sun and you'll get that full total solar eclipse. It is going to be taking place, of course, in Mexico. Then it's going to move up that path of totality and we will see it in places like Texas, eventually over into New York, and then it will move over toward Canada. The time now 129 on the East Coast and 1029 on the West Coast. My name is Josh Breslow and I'm here for the next several hours to bring you all of your top stories.
That is a, this this is what I was expecting for me to happen when I was out in the park today. It is Washington DC right here. If you was in DC, did this happen? Anybody from the DMV in here? It was dark out there for a long, there's a long time. <laughs> so I want her again to say, Alpha Mallory, that did not happen. This is supposed to be a live, like a live footage feed of DC and Washington, DC, and they people sitting outside. Look, now the light coming back up. It's like a clown. My bad. That was downtown Dallas. My not not DC. My bad. That was downtown Dallas. Downtown Dallas. I don't know who's in here from Texas. We need some Texas heads. There, where you are, it looks like you're almost submerged, cloaked in the darkness. Give us a sense for, for what you're actually seeing. I, I want to show you exactly what it would be like if we didn't have the light on us right now. So let's just go ahead and turn that light off. It is absolute darkness. It's actually a bit creepy, I have to say, other than people's phones and lights being shown right now. The fact that it's cloudy here, that it is overcast, is really not bothering anybody one bit. I'm going to put my glasses on for a second just to be extra safe. I'm going to look up. I mean, it is phenomenal to feel this and the energy. Right now, it's, it's a little bit of a show. You can just tell every time we get a little bit of a, of a glimpse of it, people here get so excited. But I can tell you the biggest feeling that I have right now is just that temperature drop and the energy that is coming from the community here. Um, I, always, I always want to be a little bit quiet, David and Lindsay this moment oh my gosh wow you hear the people celebrating a, and it looks like we're about to see a little bit of that diamond wow look yeah, at that wow. you yeah, see you're those, getting it you're getting it the clouds are moving are those the bailey's beads that we're seeing a little bit that those kind of flares are around slightly around the perimeter there now it's dark yeah now, now it's, it's dark, dark again, again. Man, we got robbed, man. From NBC. We got robbed. Why we ain't get a good look at it like that? I 
I really feel robbed. Why is like nobody really catch it from like beginning to end? Don't tell me this guy was supposed to be on the plane seeing this. I don't know, man. I I know it happened, but then, like, how do you not capture this in such a way that is phenomenal from one person? I just I can't find one regular person. It's all news channels. All right, I'm done with that. If you got the chance to experience it like these people and it went pitch black and you couldn't see nothing, you know, you got you had a hell of an experience. Because I felt like I went to the amuse, amusement park and lost my wallet and I couldn't get on no rides. <laughs> I feel robbed. Only sleep people can see it. It wasn't for us. But like for the people that can't see it, why didn't they go black? Like you had to be in a certain place for it to go black. Like that. I don't know, man. But congratulations to all y'all in Dallas. Anybody else in here from Dallas? Did it go pitch black over there in Dallas? We missed it, man. I guess we needed the glasses to see it. In Maryland, it was particularly covered, but no blackness. All right, let's get this Christian Combs thing cracking. You heard me? So picking up where we left off yesterday. Um. This is uh, where we picked up yesterday. Now, to recap, to recap this whole thing, um, 
that's fine. Now to recap this whole thing, right? This young lady by the name of Grace. I believe her name is Grace. I, I'll um, reiterate it in a second. Well, this lady Grace, and there's a thing that's funny to me that I need y'all to take notice of. It ain't funny, but interesting to me. You see this picture of Christian Cohn, right? And you see people like Misa, along with other people who said, why they do them kids like that? Why they do them kids like that? Let me give you a, a reminder real quick to all y'all that keep saying why they do them kids like that. I want you to, to uh, keep in mind that you look at them as kids, right? Biggie and Tupac died the same age as Christian Combs is right now. Do y'all view Biggie and Tupac as a kid, as y'all view him as a kid? Those who say, um, why they do that to his kids, they kids, they, these are grown men. And if you still feel like they kids, then Tupac and, and Biggie, they was kids when they died. Either way, how you wanna look at it? Oh, I got my water right here. You feel me? Think about it. If you're going to sit there and say, why they do these kids like that? They kids, they ain't out there arrest those kids like that. They didn't embarrass them kids. Biggie and Tupac was the same age as Christian Combs is right now when they died. And I don't hear none of y'all calling Tupac a kid. And Justin Combs is five years older than him. He's like 30, 31. So, even though they didn't have the celebrity something in my eye even though they didn't have the celebrity like like biggie and tupac they they do they did have uh access to the lifestyle that Big and Tupac um, had access to through their father, especially once they got over 21 and they could drink and get in the club and he ain't got to sneak them in. And then when they get old enough where the grown women can sleep with them too, So they might be riding the coattails of their daddy's fame. You know what I'm saying? But it still gives them the access to that world. And getting the access to that world leads us here, where we at. This lawsuit that's going on right now with this young lady.
you know, accusing him of sexual assault. And this is what happens when uh, you bring your kids in this entertainment industry and you surround them with these devils. You put them in a line of fire. You know what I'm saying? Did Puff ever foresee this happening? The last thing in the world he thought that was going to happen with this. Right? The same thing with his sons. Never thought they would be all over the news with handcuffs on them and all this stuff. You know, they never thought that this was going to happen. But I, you know, I wanted to uh, give you a reminder of their age and how they are in the, the media saying, calling them kids, 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 kids. If you ain't look at, if you looked at Tupac as a grown ass man when he died, and you looked at Big as a grown ass man when he died, then these ain't kids. Cause they Christian is the same age as Big and Tupac. And it's crazy as 25 years later, right? Even longer. And and Justin is is uh in his 30s. So why when we move it forward, reading this lawsuit. We remember these is grown ass men. These ain't so I'm looking at these these kids like they is his his daughters. They not his daughters. These is men, men. Even though they still live in that daddy house and all that, these are men. So, okay. Let me see. Now, according to the plaintiff, the past year, 2023, has been most the most deeply traumatizing time of her life. After defendant Christian Combs sexually assault and the subsequent cover-up orchestrated by defendant Combs and his staff, plaintiff was isolated and retaliated against the yacht, against on the yacht. This isolation and retaliation finally resulted in plaintiff's termination by Captain Peter Milkoff on or around May 10th, 2023. In addition to losing her employment, the plaintiff also lost her longtime partner with whom she had planned a future. What? Plaintiff's partner was never the same after seeing plaintiff's bruises on her body because of the defendant Combs sexual assault and having to deal with the mental and emotional ramifications so they separated. Come on, bro. Come on, man. Stop, man. Come on, man. Break out the violins, B. Stop. 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 Stop, man. Stop. 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 Stop, bro. Stop. Stop, man. I can't take this lawyer too serious. I really can't. It's okay to file a complaint and everything, but you can tell when he putting the sauce on. So you telling me this girl boyfriend left her because he saw her bruises with bruises that a, a man 
allegedly took advantage of her. A man, a man uh, allegedly takes advantage of his lady. She come on with bruises, get fired from her job. And he breaks up with her because it's alleged that uh, Christian Combs sexually tried to sexually assault her. So you break up with your girlfriend. You don't, you're not there. What man is not there for a woman emotionally and has sympathy for, for a guy that tried to, uh, Take advantage of her in any way. And, and this is your girlfriend, somebody you've been dating, seeing. So I, a dude try to take advantage of my lady, and I break up with her. Only way I'm breaking up with her if I found out she slept with him and was cheating behind my back. Kabini, what up? That's it. That's the only way. If it, if it came to to because she had interaction with a, another guy, but the bruises, I could see if she had a hickey on her neck. Right? And she came home with hickeys all over her neck, all over her breast even between your thighs, right? Then, all right, I see you breaking up well. But bruises on her arm from it look like somebody grabbing her? Come on, man. What kind of tender dick, D-I-C, you know the rest, is this guy? He's a tender dick. D, 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 D. I C K guy. <laughs> Tender D. Come on, bro. Get it together out here, fellas. You don't leave your girl because a man sexually assaulted her, allegedly. Or physically assaulted. It got to be more to that story. I would love for them to call him in the court and get him on the stand. Plato's mental health deteriorated to the point that she was medicated and required intensive therapy. Additionally, she fell into a deep depression and was unable to fully carry out her maid of honor duties at the wedding of her only sister in June 2023, which she had been looking forward to doing for over 18 months. The plaintiff's anxiety and panic attacks prevented her from securing another permanent position in the yacht, yacht industry in 2023. So, I really don't know what to say, bro. Like, I really don't know what to say. So, she couldn't go to her sister's wedding that she waited 18 months for this wedding. And I can understand someone being emotionally distressed in this time and hour, but she couldn't do this wedding because of that incident. So, but she's still seeking work and trying to get a job, but can't go to a wedding. <sighs> I don't know about this lawyer, man. And then she couldn't seek an, an, another permanent position in the yachting industry in 2023. The plaintiff also developed a severe eating disorder as a result of the attack due to the shame and mental warfare she was experiencing that affected her body image and appetite. 
Bro. Okay. Okay. Over several occasions, the effects of the defendant, Christian Cohn, sexually assault led to plaintiff to have severe suicidal ideations. Bro. She, wait, I don't even think they had sex. In addition to the plaintiff's psychological trauma, her physical health began to deteriorate. The plaintiff had several epileptic seizures. These seizures resulted in plaintiff losing her ability to privately do things she was accustomed to doing alone. Plaintiff now requires supervision to do basic activities like swimming and bathing, and is not required to inform people in public places that she is epileptic and requires supervision. I feel for this young lady. If she's going through all this, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Premises liability and aiding and embedding for the defendant, Sean Combs. According to the plaintiff, defendant Sean Combs chartered the yacht and the sole responsibility for the actions of his, himself, his guests, and his family. Upon information and belief, defendant Sean Combs fostered and encouraged an environment of debauchery. There was also a party atmosphere filled with suspected sex workers, suspected laced alcohol, violence, and sheer disrespect of women and the yacht's crew. What is a suspected sex worker, bro? If somebody's sitting there having a party on the yacht and a whole bunch of people is on there partying, have you ever been to a party and you be like, oh, those look like sex workers? In Vegas, walk in the strip, a certain area, maybe cruising the casino, you might see a few people that might look like prostitutes. But a nigga having a, a, a private party on a yacht, a private house party, going to a club, a strip club, you telling me you looking around and saying, that person might be a sex worker. Like, they going off of where all, man, this is crazy, bro. What is suspected laced alcohol? Like, I, I know we know the stories now, but if we didn't hear these stories, right? If we didn't hear these stories, what sense would, would, would this one make to us? Unless somebody was like, yo, Nigga passed me a drink and it was some cloudy shit floating around in it. I don't know, man. I'm not. I'm not sitting here trying to defend Puff, but like, I don't know, bro. Upon information and belief, defendant Sean Combs did not have any safeguards in place to ensure there was no excessive drug use, no excessive drinking, and no important or perpetrated sex workers. Huh? What do you mean I had nobody in place to make sure there was no excessive drug use? Like, first of all, who are you going to have in place to make sure niggas don't use too much drugs? The police? Like, who is the 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 the, the drug the drug uh 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 monitor? Hey, buddy, hey. Too many lines. That line looks too thick, buddy. No, no, no. Break that up into two lines. No, that that line is too thick, buddy. You 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 might OD. 
No, this is that that pink cocaine, nigga. Nah, nigga. Nah, nah. Like, what? Come on, man. Stop, bro. Stop. Stop, man. This lawyer is crazy, bro. Nobody in place for no excessive drinking. There's no children on this bus. You might, I mean, on this boat. You better know how to control your own alcohol. Who? What club you ever been to and they got some people in there to make sure you don't drink too much? What cruise you ever went on and the the cruise had people that worked at the cruise that make sure you didn't drink too much? So Puff's supposed to have somebody on his goddamn yacht to make sure nobody do excessive drinking and drugs. Like when is drugs legal for you to have somebody to monitor, monitor y'all doing drugs? Like yo, this yo, this dude, yo, this lawyer is, yo, he he's tripping, bro. To finish Sean Cohn's apparent failure to ensure there was a safe environment on the yacht was intentional. On one occasion, Christina Coram, Coram, defending Sean Cohn's chief of staff, instructed the plaintiff to ensure that the entire bar area was stocked with Delion tequila and Ciroc vodka. It was important for Sean Combs to be surrounded by these bottles. On this occasion, defendant Combs was visibly intoxicated. What is wrong with him having Ciroc and Delion stocked up on his yacht and he represents those brands? Come on, bro. Yo, man. This is why the fucking... There ain't no indictment yet. A lot of this shit is bullshit. Plaintiff is unsure if he was high from drugs, alcohol, or both. Out of nowhere, Christina Coron quickly approached the plaintiff and ordered her to remove all the Ciroc and Delion bottles. She was informed that redacted and redacted were born in a yacht. At that point, the defendant Sean Combs acted, exited the room, redacted and redacted into the room, and defendant Sean Combs returned sober, holding his newborn daughter. This all occurred within less than an hour. Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. He returned back sober? With that nigga when it took some no dose. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> come on, y'all. Like, Yeah, I know I ain't nobody sitting here trying to defend Diddy, right? Well, come on. This don't sound like a bunch of bullshit. No offense to this young lady. You know, I'm not saying you're not a victim. I'm just saying, come on, y'all. It don't seem like this, 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 uh, this lawyer's pouring it on, bro. Like, what, what is this, bro? What is this? What is this? Like, y'all know me. I'm fair. I'm fair. You know what I'm saying? This right here, I'm saying, man. Like, I don't, this got to be a money grab. She said, Cassie got 30 million. I was on that boat. This is some type of setup, bro. I'm telling you. Like, I, I know nobody wanted to defend Diddy and shit because of all these allegations and all the stories that these people have been told. But for one, I don't believe 
half of the shit that Gene said no more. Seeing that that nigga made up a bunch of lies about me. And I would honestly thought that he would be uh, uh, honorable and truthful, even with a fallout. And the fact that that nigga made up a bunch of lies, a lot of his shit is in question to me now. Just out of just because of his character, you know what I'm saying, and uh, there's always a thing. If all these things happen, why why nobody calls the cops then? Why nobody do this thing? Why nobody says no then? Why is always past tense after you got what you wanted? The plaintiff is unsure if he was high from drugs, alcohol, or both. Out of nowhere, Christina quickly approached the plaintiff in order to remove all the Ciroc and De Leon bottles. She was informed that, I'm going to assume that that's Sarah and the baby, right? Or whoever the mother is of this newborn baby. That's the, the mother and the baby allegedly, were bought in the yacht. At that point, defendant Sean Combs exited the room. I think the mother and the baby entered the room, and then Sean Combs returned, returned sober, holding his newborn daughter. This all occur, occurred within less than an hour. So maybe it's two adults, but one is the baby mother and somebody else. Why are they saying some people's name and not the other people's name? If you could put Christina's name up there, why you, why you can't read, uh, why is so-and-so redacted? He returned sober, holding his newborn daughter. This all occurred within the last an hour. So y'all telling me, man, this nigga was drunk and high and then bam, he just turned it off. He because his his baby came, and now he he just sobered up. All right, this incident led plaintiff to believe that the defendant Sean Combs knew right from wrong and had the ability in the withdrawal to determine that the environment on the yacht was was safe. He intentionally created an unsafe environment that gave license to defendant Christian Combs to believe that. He was free to sexually assault the plaintiff. Huh? Defendant Sean Combs allowed defendant Christian Combs and his friends to behave carelessly as they observed and mimicked his actions. Really? Really? Yo, bro. Come on, man. A famous, number one is a famous female comedian. And number two is the wife of a famous comedian and founder of a New York-based charity. And they brought his baby, a famous female comedian, and wife of a famous comedian and founder of a New York-based charity. Who's the famous female comedian that be around Puff? Tiffany Haddish and the wife of a famous comedian and the founder of a New York-based charity. A wife of a famous comedian. Huh. When 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 this took place? Is that Kevin Hart wife? Kim Whitley and Kevin Hart wife? 
Let's see. Twenty twenty two. Oh, shit. There's a picture. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's stop this for a second. So this would be the yacht. Let's see who's in the building. Got fabulous partying. He finally got his wish. Nah, you ain't party party with me. He got his wish. They got him. Got him. Got him. He got his wish. Nah, nigga, you ain't get the party party with me. Get Ming Mills. Yo, you see him dancing with Diddy like that? Hand in hand. Hey, yo. That nigga Diddy, I mean, me, look at Ming and Diddy. Wow. I don't see no comedians yet. Mm -hmm. 
Got him. Wow. Meet Millie. Oh, yeah, I think I showed this before. Is that young Miami right there? Is that young Miami right there? Phones, guys. I need your phones. I need your phones. I need that. 
Is, is that little rod right there, y'all? Is that the little rod dude right there? That is, right? With that special bad boy hat. That was in the lawsuit. The freak off bad boy hat. Wow. Wow. Wow, that's him right there, y'all. Let's see if he give up a phone. Pay attention. Diddy taking everybody's phone. Let's see if he take Lil Rod's phone. Wow. Holy shit. Merry Christmas. Excuse me, I need the phones, guys. I need the phones. I need the phones. I need the phones. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Quincy, I know you have two phones, Quincy. Oh, there you go. That's what I love. Yeah. Just glow. So proud of you, Just Glow. Look at that. Got all the phones. I have everybody's phone. So we got two phones. Got this car. Y'all see Luda Raw dipped off. Look, he over there. Diddy started asking for the phone. Look at this nigga. He dipped off. He went out or he went over there. The car over there. Um, how would you like to... This nigga, Diddy was slipping. Diddy was slipping. Diddy wasn't keeping his eye on homeboy. That nigga dipped off. That nigga was like, yo, everybody phones. This nigga dipped off to the back and went all the way over into the street. Yo, that nigga's an agent, allegedly. Thank you. 
The French ain't trying to give up his phone. That nigga puff like, yo, nigga, don't do that. Like, give me that phone. Act like you can't find it, nigga.
everybody's phone now? Got everybody's phone. Got the boy's phone? Huh? Where the boys at? Hi. Hello. Merry Christmas. Excuse me, I need the phones, guys. I need your phones. I need your phones. I need your phones. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, this I'm I'm just asking y'all out of curiosity, with all all the sexual harassment that Little Rod claimed that Puff had uh, done to him, him being drugged, waking up in the bed with Puff and two other men. Do this nigga look uncomfortable around Puff, or Diddy, whatever y'all call him now, right? Do he look uncomfortable around? Do he look like he's in any danger? Thank you. And Quincy, I know you have two phones, Quincy. Oh, there you go. That's what I love. Yeah. Just glow. So proud of you, Just Glow. Look at that. Got all the phones. Do I have everybody's phone? So we got two cars. We got this car and the car over there. Um, how would you like to... I mean, yeah, we can go get them when we finish. Hey, can So your boy, Little Rod, I'm just watching him to see how comfortable he's supposed to be around Diddy. Here's one more with them together in St. Bart's. That's him right there on the left in front of the guys, the three guys with the blue shirt standing in front of the car over there.
Yeah, just enjoy. Little Ra's on the boat with him, chilling, telling my love, 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 bro. If Little Rod allegedly woke up in the bed with Diddy after he said he drank I mean, three other men, who, who's the other men that he was in the bed with? If it was Diddy and two other guys in the bed with him, right? How many men have we seen him with? If a lot of freaky stuff is going on, I ain't questioning French, but he stay hanging around. And if Lil Rod said all that shit was going on, I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying. Birds of a feather, people and uh, birds of a feather flock together. You hang with nine broke niggas. You'll be the tenth one. Y'all go uh, put the rest in place. I ain't gonna say it. I'm sorry, little Rod. You don't look like you're in danger, baby. I don't know. You ain't you over there with Diddy and, and, and French. It's just y'all three going to the yacht. The little camera dude. I don't know. I don't know, Little Rod. You might be another uh, scorn lover. I don't know how these niggas be running around with Diddy for all this time and then say that they, they uncomfortable or he did this, he did that. Man, this nigga is chilling. Chilling, him and French. Chilling. I 
I don't know, y'all. I don't know. That man, he did not look like he did not want to be there. I'm sorry to say. Let's get back to this paperwork. Defending Sean Combs allowed Christian Combs and his friends to behave carelessly as they observed and mimicked his actions. According to the plaintiff, on many occasions, she witnessed young girls visiting the boat, stay for less than 30 minutes in the cabin with the guests and leave. This led the plaintiff to believe these girls were sex workers. Come on, bro. According to the plaintiff, defendant Sean Combs routinely engaged in and engaged in and encouraged open illegal drugs while on the yacht. Now, who who has proof of this? On several occasions, plaintiff witness defendant Sean Combs smoking marijuana while receiving services from the yacht's crew members. He would not allow them to leave as he smoked. And as a result, several crew members had a, a contact. Yo, come on, bro. Stop. Come on, man. Yo, come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. We got to give Diddy some credit here, man. This is bullshit. Nigga, if you I, if you charter a, a, a yacht, even if you charter a jet, you don't even supposed to smoke in the sky. You already asking the, the, the workers if they cool with X, Y, and Z. We smoke. Come on, bro. Stop, man. All right, come cool, on, man. They wouldn't even hire a person that had a problem with smoking. Like, this is, yo, this is bullshit, bro. According to the plaintiff in another incident, defendant Sean Combs had several women whom plaintiff suspected, suspected again, of being sex workers on the yacht. Can you imagine a, a chick, you, you a chick, or a celebrity chick or artist that went on this yacht to uh, do some music or just hang out and just kick it, and now you you fucking automatically deemed as a sex worker because you were just on there. In one incident, a girl was extremely upset and ran to the lower deck, locked herself in the massage room, and was hysterically crying. She said she did not feel safe and wanted to leave. The crew was alerted of this. At this time, Sarah Chapman, one of Sean Combs' children's mother, was due to have a massage. So the plaintiff had to attempt. So plaintiff had to attempt to remove this young woman from the massage room, but she was very reluctant as she felt unsafe. Eventually, she left. According to the plaintiff, on another occasion, defendant Christian Combs lost a large bag of marijuana and required the crew to search the yard for the yacht for it. I'm so yo, come on, man. <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo, this shit right here, bro. I see why they didn't come with no, no, not as of yet. They need so. They need some concrete evidence before they go and give an indictment. Because if a person like me can read this and be like, "Come on now," I can imagine what some top top DA professionals are saying reading this. According to the plaintiff, on another occasion while Hulu was filming, 
Defendant Sean Combs and his friends, including Young Miami, were playing a game called Carisha Please. Defendant Sean Combs was there to expose himself. While Hulu was filming, right, y'all? At that point, Defendant Sean Combs stood up, pulled his pants down, and exposed his penis. The plaintiff was standing beside the table and heard the commotion. Defendant Sean Combs' mother was sitting beside him. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Come on. He pulled his dick out in front of his mother, yo? Come on, man. Stop. Come on. Stop, bro. Stop. Stop. Stop, man. Stop. 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 Stop, stop, bro. Stop, bro. Stop. 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 Come on, stop. Stop, man. Come on. He pulled his he pulled his pants down. Where his penis out? Where his mother right there? Are we really going to read the rest of this, y'all? While filming for Hulu. So Hulu got footage right now of Diddy pulling his nuts out in front of his mother. Come on, y'all. Come on, man. Stop, bro. Like, come on, man. Yo, th this lawyer, man. Like, th th yo, this this is crazy, bro. Cone stood up, pulled his pants down, and exposed his penis. Plaintiff was standing beside the table and heard the commotion. Defendant Sean Cone's mother was sitting beside him. The plaintiff then returned to the pantry and refused to stand by outside of the pantry for the duration of that service period. According to the plaintiff, on another occasion during New Year's, New Year's Eve, the, the finish Sean Combs had guests who stayed until late afternoon the next day. A fight broke out between Justin Combs' friends. They physically assaulted each other and walked around the bow topless screaming. Plaintiff and the crew felt very uneasy in this environment. At one point, one of the defendants, Sean Combs, guests shoved plaintiff's chief steward on the stairs and threw an object across the bar. According to the plaintiff, on another occasion, she witnessed the argument between a woman and a man. The man was upset and proceeded to physically assault her. She, she, like, at what point was she going to quit this hostile working environment? Was she making that much to stand in this hostile working environment? I'm confused. According to the plaintiff, Sean Combs, assistant, assistant, and noted drug mule, Brendan Paul, once came down to the pantry and was laughing uncontrollably. He told the plaintiff that he had to sit and watch the defendant, Sean Combs, have sex with multiple women. And that was funny to him. Right? Come on, y'all. Like, come on, man. He said the defendant Sean Combs wanted him to present. Just, he wanted him present just in case he needed him to get in to get some get him something while he was in the middle of the act. The plaintiff questioned why Brendan would want to work with defendant Sean Combs if he was required to do such things. And Brendan replied that the defendant Sean Combs was a good link to have in the industry. According, why would she stay there with all this shit going on is the question. 
I guess because he was a good link in the industry for her too. I, according to the plaintiff, when the defendant Sean Combs chartered the yacht, she witnessed this witness and served several A-list guests on board, including rappers, blank, redacted number three, redacted four, five, six, as well as seven, and Cuba Gooden Jr. Let's look at these clues for redactions at the bottom of this page. What, what I'm up to. Uh, according to the plaintiff, Cuba Gooden Jr. was extremely unpleasant to serve. He sat at the bar and made derogatory comments to the plaintiff. He was visibly intoxicated, and she was in the room and witnessed him inappropriately touch it. Come on, bro. Stop. Come on, bro. Oh, my God. This shit is all laid out, boy. This is all laid out. He was visibly intoxicated, and she was in the room and witnessed him inappropriately touch a producer, Rodney Jones, who at the time was working on a love album. This girl was all over the place for every goddamn thing, bro. As a result of the conduct, Sean Combs and Christian Combs, the plaintiff continues to suffer serious harm. First cause of action. Okay. Let's see who these rappers were that was on the, the boat. A Philly rapper, that's Meek Mill. 30-year-old Atlanta rapper who rose to prominence following the release of his 2017 mixtapes. Is that little Baby? 25-year-old British rapper. Moroccan rapper signed to Bad Boy Records and Maybach Music Group. Former model and CEO of Female Urban Clothing Brand. Philly rappers Meek Mill. 30-year-old rapper. Oh, that's French Montana, maybe. How old is French? No. Moroccan rapper signed to Bad Boy Records is French Montana. 25-year-old British rapper, I don't know. 30-year-old Atlanta rapper who's... Is that 2 chains And Philly rapper. Who y'all think it is? 21 Savage, French Montana. 21 Savage. 21 Savage. Oh, yeah, 25-year-old British rapper. The British rapper probably gigs. 21 Savage, the ATL rapper. French and me, definitely. Two chains, maybe. Let's go to Diddy, New Year's Eve. Diddy, New Year's Eve. Yacht party. Huh. Let's see. Let's 
Shout out to Lola Lee T. Well, we know Fab is there. That's the same stuff I just played. All right, let's finish getting to this paperwork. The plaintiff we alleges and incorporates by reference as those said fully at this point each and every allegation contained therein. On or around December 28, 2022, defendant Coach Christian Combs assaulted the plaintiff by violently grabbing her, grabbing her, groping her legs, breasts, anus, and vagina. He also tried to kiss her and proceeded to kiss her neck, face, and hands. Prior to the assault, the Christian, defendant Christian Combs also forced plaintiff to drink Alcohol, which she now believes was laced with drugs. Everybody believed the shit was laced with drugs. Now, after Gene and, and Mark Curry, everybody was drugged. <laughs> right? So, yo, here's the other thing about this, right? Gene told the story, right? where he went to a, a Diddy, he was at well, one party, and it, it was supposed it, it changed to Zip and D, but he was at a party where he got drugged by them, putting the drugs in the juice, and he drank the juice, and he woke up six hours later sitting in his car. Now, he said he woke up six hours say, uh, later sitting in his car. Little Roy woke up, uh, in the bed with three men, right? But he woke up in the car, right? But then he tells another story about how he took his girl and her girlfriend, right? Now, they drugged him, and he never called the police. He never made a report being law official, right? He never called the police, right? Now he took his girl and her girlfriend to a Diddy party, and allegedly, at Madam C.J. Walker's house. He said he, he can't find his girl. He going through the party. He's seeing alleged sex shit going on, weird shit going on. He looking for his girl. He can't find her in the party, right? He finally finds his girlfriend, and she in his car, and she was drugged, knocked out in the car. Still no, no reports to the police. Don't say nothing, right? So for all these years, even when his girl got drugged, said nothing until YouTube, right? I'm going to show y'all this.
Okay. I'm going to get right back to this, but I, I'm, y'all just need to see this because how does this keep happening? You tell these stories and never said shit or got nobody got arrested, right? New Year's Eve at Madam C.J. Walker's house, right, in her mansion. And I had my girl, her friend, and it was a big party. I went looking for my girl, and I couldn't find her nowhere. She was crazy. And I'm going in bathrooms. I'm knocking down door. I'm going through every door in the house. People were in there in situations, drinking the whole nine yards. I even go outside. It's cold. I'm looking at people's car. I'm looking at cars and everything like that. Then I finally just go to my car and she was in there sleep with her girlfriend. I was wondering what happened. And she said that she was drinking champagne and all of a sudden she got dizzy. So she went to the car. She made it to the car. So I knew those people who was at that party, somebody had drugged the champagne or the orange juice or something. They had gave a party on New Year's. Now you heard him tell the story about when he got drugged and blamed it on Zip and D. Now his girl got drugged. <laughs> you funny, Cliff. Let's get back to it. Uh, prior to the assault, defending Christian Combs also forced the plaintiff to drink alcohol, which she now believes was laced with drugs. Defending Christian Combs also exposed himself to the plaintiff, bearing his naked, erect penis, trying to physically force the plaintiff to perform oral copulation. Uh, the plaintiff also was seriously bruised as a result of the attack. Plaintiff did not consent to any other sexual assault or misconduct and was drugged, intoxicated by defending Christian Combs. Did she go get a, a drug test? or toxiology report or something like that to prove that she was dr drugged. Did she get a police report? Did she go to the hospital for her injuries? Is there a, a hospital report for her injuries? Did they get drug tested? Like, I, I hope with all this shit, uh, all these accusations, yeah, she at bare minimum went to the hospital and got a ho hospital report for the, for the bruises and had them take a drug to test to see if she was drugged. Bare minimum. And a assault uh, report to the police. Those, those three things, bare minimum, I will hope that this girl has, right? Through the aforementioned acts, defending Christian Combs caused harmful or offensive contact with the intimate part of the plaintiff body as defined by the California Civil Code. California, y'all was in the same bars or the U.S. Virgin Islands or somewhere. Y'all was on a yacht. Y'all wasn't even on land. Through, through the aforementioned act, the Fisher Cone, defendant Christian Combs caused harmful or offensive contact between the intimate part of the defendant's body and plaintiff body as defined by the California Civil Code. Through the... the in California, like what? Because he live in California? Through the aforementioned act, defending Christian Combs caused plaintiff an imminent apprehension of harmful or offensive contact with the intimate part of the plaintiff's body and sexually offensive contact with the plaintiff's result. As a result, defending Christian Combs conduct plaintiff has suffered, the plaintiff has suffered economic economic injury all to the plaintiff's general special and consequential damage in the amount to be proven at trial but in no event in less than the minimal jurisdiction amount of this court as a result christian combs above described conduct 
plaintiff has suffered and continues to suffer great emotional distress and was prevented and will continue to be prevented from performing daily activities and obtaining the full enjoyment of life. As described in this complaint, defendant Christian Combs conduct was done with apprehension, fraud, and or malice warranting significant damages, including punitive damages. Second cause of action battery against defendant Christian Combs. The plaintiff re-alleges and incorporates by there's the same shit all over again. Third cause of action, same thing. Fourth cause of action, premise liability. This is from Puff, the same thing. Fifth cause of action, aiding and abetting on Puff. Sixth cause of action, intentional infliction of emotional distress on Christian. Same uh, complaints. A kiss into the neck and all that other shit. Seventh cause of action by Christian, I mean against Christian, negligent infliction of emotional distress of the same thing, the touching of the groping of the legs, the kissing of the neck, the bruise. Prayer. Wherefore, plain of grace, O Marque, prays for judgment against all the defendants jointly and severely as follows. For compensatory with compensatory 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 I don't know, I'm going to have to look that one up. Compass. I need the pronunciation of that word. Compensatory. Compensatory. Intended to recompense someone who has experienced loss, suffering, or injury. Compensatory. For compensatory, special, and general damages, according to proof, for punitive and explanatory damages, for cost of suit, prejudgment, and post judgment interest and such other and further relief as the court may deem necessary or appropriate. Attorneys for plaintiff, Ivy McNeil, Wyatt Purcell and Diggs. I thought this was that same lawyer from the other. Uh... The Tyrone guy. This ain't the Tyrone guy. Tyrone Blackburn. Who Tyrone Blackburn got? Uh... This is Tyrone a, a Blackburn. Okay, so that this must be his, his two teams.
I wonder if he's using this law firm because they in LA, they can file in LA. Or California, rather. So this is the Tyrone Black burn dude. I don't know about this guy, man. Like, I'm gonna tell y'all the, the part that bothered me the most about this, this, this right here was this part right here. This part right here is the part that make me, that they just rub me from the right, from the beginning, rub me the wrong way. Defending Christian Combs, a 25 year old auto-tuned and heavily edited rapper. That shit right there is some ghetto ass shit. You could have said defending Christian Combs, a 25 year old uh, rapper, son of mogul, Sean Combs. I think it said a 25 year old auto tune and heavily edited rapper. That, that, that right there just don't, don't scream professionalism to me. Like it's, it screams cloud chasing. I don't know. This is, this is, it is, like I said, I'm not here to defend uh, Diddy. I'm here to defend the truth. And this shit sound fugazi. I'm sorry. I think Cassie got people saying any goddamn thing. I don't know, y'all. Yeah, y'all tell me what y'all think, man. I, I'm not, I, I, I don't buy it 100%. You know, no disrespect to that woman. If you're a victim, much praises to you. I hope if you're going through some that you get through it as soon as possible. But, man, there's a lot of people out here lying, bro. For a dollar. Especially using Puff name or Diddy. There's a lot of people out here lying, man. A lot of people aiding and, and, and abetting, complicit. Knowing these motherfucking people, all these women out here getting drugged and all this shit. And motherfuckers ain't doing that. This dude just told another story about some doctor that got drugged by them. And she told him, oh, I know it wasn't you, but it was the other bodyguard. And it was uh, allegedly uh, Diddy. Oh, my. Well, I can't help you. I can't help you. You can't help nobody. These niggas is crazy, bro. They just complicit with the aiding and embedded, turn their head, they get drugged, they don't do nothing. They girlfriends get drugged, they don't do nothing. They know about the shit getting spiked and shit. Then when they, the motherfuckers put them on the news for them telling the whole world about it, and now it's popping up in lawsuits and everything. Motherfuckers don't know shit. Crazy. That's why you got to pull receipts. You got to have receipts for the shit that you accuse them motherfuckers of. Choke no joke. Y'all already know. See y'all in the morning for the workout. We be back in the courtroom tomorrow too. It is what it is. Choke no joke. I'm out. Make sure you hit that like, that subscribe. I would appreciate it, all right? I would appreciate it. Thank you for your time coming through. Moderator his squad, what up? Membership gang, choke no jokesters, what up? Y'all have a good night. Make sure y'all kiss the babies good night. One love.
joke, no joke. Jack Graham. Yeah, now. Joke, no joke. Jack Graham. Yeah. This is what ATL in New York sound like. Let's go. Y'all hating ass niggas, I see y'all. Show get busy, that's why I got the crown. Hate in the air. You clowns, I see the envy that you breathe, jealousy. What you need is your own damn hustle. Stop worrying about mine. Nigga, I'm popping cause I put in time. Came out modeling, camera in hand. Still get busy with the mic in hand. Streets pulled out, niggas got sprayed. Niggas turn on you when they see you get paid. The intimidation in your face. Where's the love? What's taking place? You want my gold and my ducats. Cause my money overflowing out of buckets. Shot them in public. Made people holler, scar on his face for the money and the power. I'm the choker, choker. The truth in the industry made me the choker, choker, choker. The truth in the industry made me the. Came at me fool, got in, was young So talent made you rich, damn was dumb More to make, cake from crumbs You gotta be sweet, G or native tongue My heartbeat went into overload When Larry tried to turn me into a mole Told me show my curly to the CEO I didn't think it's funny, so his jaw hit the floor And grabbed that chair that broke his back then realize that's a hate attack Harassment comes assault, you in the maze No way out, like Puff and Mace Touch me, tease me, I catch a case Nigga, you ain't straight as your poker face Father law guard in that game I fold This sun don't tick, demon time don't hold I'm the Choker Choker the truth in the industry made me the choker, choker, choker. The truth in the industry made me the choker, choker. The truth in the industry made me the choker, choker. On the ones and twos, Chosa. what y'all want to do? I'm here now. See the wall, stand up. Shout out to the bomb squad. No, no joke, I ain't DR. My man Delvin, see him? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dominican Republic. All right? Yeah. We yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Joke, no joke. Primo, you ain't wanna give me no beat, so I'm stealing one. Take it personal. You know you my guy, Primo, love you. You gonna give me a beat after this one. I never thought that you would cry at me, go against me, and backstab me. Third eye is strong, word is bond. Put you on the fakes, and now you won. I gave you support, and you play me for those who play with butt. Yeah, I'm talking breakfast club, revolt, whatever. All I know is birds of a feather hang with those that they hate. Once the realness, now you fake, and I see through you. What you gon' do when they book you in your duke shoe? I know you think I'm expose you. This ain't no threat, take it personal. Choke, no joke. 2023, it's on me. You hear me? 2023 is on me. They say, why I don't come around the game? Cause all y'all dudes undercover gay. And I don't play those fucking games. You thought this black. Jay told me in no certain terms that, you know, no rapper can really afford to look bad in front of him. So mm. it's almost like, huh. We gotta blackball him. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Jay Z for seeing the big picture here. <laughs> yeah, and it's it, it was a hard pill to swallow. Tariq, you kill the weeds, not the seeds that grow the trees. 
And as long as you alive, Dave should have a milli. Fuck you mean, bleed. Nigga, don't get me started. You know I'm retarded and lying hearted. You flipped on your peeps for those peoples in them white sheets. Like you pro black. We pass nail and how you shit on cat. You know what you what I what? <laughs> um. Okay, I think we passed kneeling. <laughs> Nigga, you got the check. The pros went back, and that's no cap. Leaving cap with no salary cap. Your son said you his dad, and you never threw him a pass. Watching his siblings in the stands Say lips, say no, say hands You say the kid is not your son They call you Hove, it must be immaculate conception Yeah, legal hustle, mega You know what it is It's choke, no joke about killing heat Left my boo and my dudes when I saw the heat Was gone in 30 seconds, more like 23 Took flight like Mike, number 23 Before the indictment came I split like Jada, then get wet like Kane Got out the game I went from the tunnel, now movie making So it ain't no confusing why you do me hey. And she want to ski and just shout with me with what I thought was pee. She rolled the D, her water broke B. Not pregnant, but baptized me. I'm down for more love, but change the sheet. She said, please, I want more. Next thing I know, mattress dripping the floor from her juices. Oral had me stoned, had a Korean and Medusa at one. And when I look in her eyes, between her thighs, I tell you no lie, ain't shit won't buy. Take it for me to taste it. Red lobster, pussy, biscuit, freshly baked. Uh, eat that coochie all night. She spray my face like sugar Sprite. I love her. I eat her coochie all night. She spray my face like sugar Sprite. I love her. Oh, yeah. My man had to come through and make sure it went through. Y'all niggas is in trouble. Choke no joke. I ain't no joke to mixtape. We here now. You already know. Let's go. Choke chillin', got away from them billin'. Ain't shit really changed though. I'm still that villain. I'm making money with rhyme. Fuck black on black crime. Beef and money don't mix like Muslims and swine. I'm talking milk, penicillin'. Y'all be illin'. Y'all be thinking y'all killers with your school fits grillin'. Kick that bullshit to me. Y'all be wet though like Bruce Lee and Brandon and Hearst on the highway to heaven. Man, you making mad threats and stuck in one section. I'm OBP like Naughty. Make a connection Talking under your breath Get you something you don't need Two fully loaded max Filled up with heat Nigga, you sweeter than 30 days for a body Pop shit to these niggas See me walk by me But I ain't looking for no beef I don't eat bologna But I bring a whole cow If you run up on me Shiesty Try me and hype me To peel your wig back Like 10 cent icy Bring it, stop bluffing, I got your threats, they mean nothing I respond like Bond, I come through, I'm bombing Playing bodegas, flipping Montega You tanning the Jacks, I tan in Jamaica Vega, wouldn't bust if he raped ya Your chick out blazed her, hit it like Jada Why you blew up a pager, had a brief like Vader Your star at war, with the lightsaber 
I'm here to lyrically tear your rear, nigga, you a spear. I jack you up, now you out of here. Throw me on the 600. Now fuck your nigga, hum it. Blowing down a path with a bad bitch blunted. I take it there. Y'all niggas don't want it. Y'all niggas don't want it. Y'all niggas don't want it with no joke. Who you thought it be? Represent the NYC. Bring it on if you niggas want some of me. Have y'all niggas feeling it like Jay Z. Uh, no joke. Who you thought it be? Represent the NYC. Bring it on if you niggas want some of me. Bronze King like the L O R D F I N E double S C. Uh. And that bullshit y'all do, y'all niggas don't stress me. Oh yeah, and you already know, eat and war what it is. Uh. Choke, no joke. I ain't no joke. The mixtape, we here now.